to this channel. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Can I get a job in Qatar with a freelancer visa? Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if you're new to this channel, if this is your first time to come across this channel, please consider subscribing. Support this channel by subscribing. By the way, don't forget to press the bell icon. It will be the only way that you'll be updated when I upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. For the new subscribers, I appreciate. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. By the way, still don't forget to press the notification bell support this channel and the only way you can support this channel is by subscribing and pressing the notification bell such that you don't miss out any of the video when it's uploaded we are looking at a freelancer visa freelancer uh, freelancer visa can i get a job in qatar with a freelancer visa yes or no why first of all let's first get to know what is a freelancer visa or the freelancer visa what is a freelancer visa by the way i'm uh, what is a freelancer visa remember a freelancer is a freelancer visa it's like a proper work visa like any other proper uh, work visa in qatar but remember but remember that the guarantee from the visa or the visa sponsor does not guarantee you work the sponsor of this freelancer visa will not guarantee you work. He'll only sell to you the visa, he'll only sell it to you to a visa, and you'll pay this person every after a year, or depending on the agreement that you've made with that person, for only renewing what you call the residence permit. When you talk about the residence permit, it's what you call the, the Qatar ID that you're supposed to use. But remember, this person, the, the, the owner or the sponsor of the freelancer visa, he does not give you the work. He does not give you the job. But you have to look for the work yourself. In case you can find what you call a permanent work for yourself, then that is well and good. You can, you can convert the freelancer to a work visa. Hope I'm explaining it rightly. So what does it mean? That... Most of the guys are fallen victims. How have they fallen victims? Is they look for the freelancer visa before even gathering what you call the right information and getting, doing a lot of research. Guys, especially for the newcomers, we may look at the new people coming into the country. It's your first time to come and work in this Gulf country. After three months, because of misinformation mis mis that you get from the wrong people, you'll end up wanting, no, I'm tired. I want to go to a freelancer. I want to be uh, a freelancer. Because you heard someone talk about a freelancer whereby you are on your own. You can look for a job for your own. You can get for your own, on your job. You can do whatever you had to do. And remember, this is a company that has recruited you from your own country not even finishing a probation period or not even finishing a year with that company you are only jumping in to get what you call a freelancer visa you are not prepared for it you are not prepared for it by the way something i will also let you know that the easiest way to come here in qatar for example now we have very many opportunities that are coming across the easiest way to come here in Qatar is by having a sponsor with what you call a work visa you are being sponsored by a company or you're being sponsored by a, by, by a person to come what does it mean if you're sponsored by a person you can come in here you can work for a given period of time let's say provision period of, of six months or even one year you first understand the system you first do a lot of research because before you can jump in what you call a freelancer visa but most of us, we do not get the right information and we end up making the biggest mistakes in our life and regretting because we don't get the right people to, to, to tell us the truth, to explain to us and we are not yet prepared. 
Some of them have ended up being deported back to their country. Your sponsor, for example, you came under a company, your sponsor realizing that you are trying to, to dodge out here and here, out and here, then he will dis... He will cancel out your visa, he will deport you back to your country. Remember, in Qatar, we have a labor clause in the labor law whereby your employer will terminate you without a notice. That is Article 61 of the labor law in Qatar. Your employer has a right to terminate you without notice. So look at this employer, look at this company that has injected in money for your visa from your country, your ticket. For this period, we have quarantine period. For this one, we have, um, we have a lot of restrictions. And you come, you work for three months, you work for four months. Then you're like, I want to cancel out this visa. I want to resign. This person is not going to be lenient with you. He's not going to be lenient with you. Before you resign, this person will terminate you. Because Article 61, under the clause of 61 of the labor law in Qatar, it entices this person to cancel your visa or to terminate you without notice. Because you've already breached what we call, you've breached what we call the contract. What am I talking about? Yes, well and good, there are people that have been lucky and they have what you call freelancer visa. Because for the freelancer visa, you can do whatever you have to do. You are on your own. For the freelancer visa, you are all on your own. Your medical card is you. Your housing is you. Your transport is you. You can choose to do part-time work. Your accommodation is you. So meaning that you are on your own at that time. Yes, you can get the job, you can get the jobs, you can do the jobs. You can do the jobs with the freelancer visa. But still a caution that I will have to let most of the guys that are coming in, in Qatar for the first time. And this is your first time to come in this country. First of all, most of the time, before we get so much excited, before we get so much panicking in any way or the other, because we hear someone talk about this, we hear this person talk about it. First plan, if it's your first time to come, first settle for one year, or even first finish up with the contract of that company that you sign with, before you can think of altering or doing any drama to this person. Because remember, this person can terminate you without any clothes. He can terminate you without any clothes. And you'll end up missing out. Or you'll end up in trouble by yourself. So settle down, prepare. Prepare yourself. Finish up the contract with this company in a very good harmony way. After finishing up, lay a strategy for yourself. Make research. Make research. Get information from the right people. Get information from people that are not going to mislead you. After, plan, plan rightly. Plan rightly on how to have or to fulfill or to, 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 to accomplish your plans or to accomplish your goals. But still also something that I need to remind you. For the sponsors of the freelancer visas, there are also some people who are, who are not genuine that you should also know. That's why it's very important to get information from the right people and you know which kind of sponsor you are dealing with. You know which kind of person you're dealing with. You may, dealing with, you may be dealing with a sponsor of the freelancer visa and this person, you'll never see him. You'll see him the first time he signs for you when you get your residence permit or your cut ID. Remember the residence permits are always renewed every after one year. After the second year, you cannot look for this person. This person is nowhere to be seen. So you'll be left stranded in any way. And that person who is under what you call a work visa, being sponsored by a company, this person is still hanging. That's why I keep on telling people, I advise you, yes, whatever you have to go in for, make thorough information, make thorough research. Get the right information from the right people before you take a step. Plan, prepare, plan for yourself. Prepare to take the next step. 
not just jumping up the step. And this goes right to people who have just come in the country. Just six months, three months on probation. You are jumping in with this and this, you are jumping in with this and this. Remember, when this company recruited you from your country, or when you came from your company, as under what you call a work visa, you agreed on the terms of the contract. You agreed on how much money you are supposed to get. But because you come into the country, you find you are getting information from people are making 10,000 and making 8,000. You, you, you feel that even the 1,000 you have been getting from your country is not enough. But remember, you signed for that in your country. You signed for that in the contract. Why not first finish up that contract? Then you can contrary move freely without any fighting or without anything from your or from your employer who sponsored you to come so this one is i thought i think i've tried to share something with you guys and you should be very careful especially if you have accomplishment if you have plan and you have objectives to meet in one way or the other hope i've tried to share something and thank you so much for coming back to this channel by the way don't feel don't don't forget Put a comment in the comment section gives us a thumbs up like this video share it let all people know let us try to share the information such that we can all benefit and help our brothers and sisters in one way or the other thank you so much see you again in the next video as we try to look at more of that uh, more of the educative information remember this makes from the next creation team